Hey everyone, welcome to the Wish You Were a Beer Show. My name is Phil, and if you've been following us for the past few months, you know I'm in St. Martin. One of the challenges that I find here in St. Martin is finding good craft beer. There isn't really any of it. Luckily, in walks Pelican Brewery. I'm here with Steven from Pelican Brewery. Thank you for coming on the show. Oui, you're welcome, and welcome at the Pelican Brewery, the first brewery in St. Martin. The first and the, the best? I want uh, to say. Thank you. So if you say so, I take it. <laughs> what was the, like, when did you guys first open up and what was kind of the story behind that? Oh, no. uh, actually, we start to brew with Nico uh, in 2015 uh, in his kitchen. Okay. Uh, uh, this time he was living in Pelican Hill. And, uh, and then from that, uh, we moved uh, this location in 2016 uh, to this building, but uh, behind this wall that we have next to us. And then uh, we applied for a license in 2017, and we had it uh, uh, July, uh, July, uh, no, uh, beginning of August 2017, oh. uh, just uh, just a few weeks before uh, Hurricane Irma hit uh, the the, uh, the island. Yeah, that was a really. So rough it time. was a it was a very good start, like uh, to be uh, <laughs> fucked. Completely damaged bomb, but uh, the brewery was safe. So uh, actually, we have a beer called Yama. It's an IPA uh, because this recipe uh, was uh, in fermentation during the hurricane. After that, like we had a couple of weeks before to open the, the brewery, and uh, the beer uh, was was really great and good, and with a lot of alcohol. Uh, so we really decided to call this recipe Yama just for the symbolism of what happened to us, actually. Yeah. No, I've, I've had the Irma. That's a, it's a great <laughs> beer. I remember I first had Pelican, I want to say 2019. There was a little pop-up and you were in Grand Pass. Yes. And I, I was like, what is this? I'm so excited because I'm like a beer guy and to come down here as much as I do mm -hmm. and not have good options <laughs> is... Uh, so I was very excited to see Pelican. And then the fact that you named it Irma, which is, I think... Yeah, but, I think that was a good idea. <laughs> no, it's a good idea, especially, but the idea came because IPA starts with I, Irma starts with I, so for us it was like super obvious, like to say, okay, it's going to be Irma Pehel, and that's it. Yeah. And then the other popular one you have is the mullet one. It's a mullet bear, yeah, that's the name of one of the island here. It's a beautiful beach. Um, and uh, unfortunately, like now it's going to go to the, to the business parts, so this wide. Uh, Beach is gonna disappear. Uh, unfortunately, that's pretty sad in a way because, like, uh, business first and nature after, luck always. Um, but uh, yeah, because the, the the color of the beer is really blonde, uh, really golden, and this is uh, exactly the spirit you have uh, on this beach. Like, the sand is beautiful, the sea is beautiful, and uh, and also like we we like to name our beer with some um, point of interest on the island. Yeah. Uh, um, it's just more fun, actually, to have a beer skull has a beach, another one has a mountain, another one has a this and that. It's, it's just fun. It makes it really local and feel... Yes, also. And yeah. uh, it's a kind of a funny game for us to uh, find some different location. Maybe one day we will <laughs> have like uh, 12 different beers and then you have to, uh, to spot different, different location on the island. And well, um, why not? Is, is there any one you've got on your mind that you want to do? Uh, no, no, not yet. Nothing no. special. <laughs> but we have some, some beer that I know are really successful uh, from the tap room. And uh, I think we, we, we're going to have to name those beer like, pretty soon. Because yeah. the tropical session ale is not so sexy for, for a beer. Um, but uh, we will use probably uh, the, the, the social media for that oh, to nice. try to find something with, with our of followers, like, we will see. I imagine it's pretty difficult to have a brewery here. Like, what are the challenges? Where are you getting your ingredients? Oh, wait, what's, uh, what's yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so, actually, that's not that difficult. Oh, really? Uh, because the malt is from France. Okay. And we ship big quantity uh, two times a year. One uh, before the hurricane season and one after the hurricane season. Uh, and then the rest uh, is from, uh, hops is from uh, USA, yeast is from USA, and to ship from USA is like 48 hours, sometimes it's even 24 hours. Oh, so wow. 
It's not that complex actually. They sprayed every day. They bought every day. So it's, it's, not, it's not a big deal. Because I will say, like, you guys have a setup that just reminds me of a brewery. Like, when I, it's like I, when I go to a brewery in the U.S., this is kind of what it feels like. And I like okay. that. And I find that that, I'm kind of surprised there's not more microbreweries around the island. Do you think? Well, uh, uh, bon, alors, the thing is, like, uh, um, we used to, there's another small brewery in Fenside. Where yeah. it's, uh, in a bar, there's ladies making some beer. It's called uh, Brewing, uh, French F Team This Brewing, yes, yeah, stuff like that. I don't yeah. remember. But she's next to Super U. Yeah. <coughs> so she's doing this. There's, there's uh, home brewers, and there's two guys also uh, open a company it's called Lost, where they finally get lost with I this company. Lost. They had kind of like a Unfortunately, flavored, they closed. really strong flavored beer, I remember. Yeah. It was pretty good beer with yeah, hibiscus and. Uh, uh, and they had also a blonde beer, was pretty nice, interesting. But then also now we have two big breweries, yeah. two big ones. Uh, this make me amazed actually, because <laughs> like already for us it's not easy to sell our beer yeah. because like it's not. We are in a place in Martin like there is a lot of nationalities. It's not like we are in the U.S. where beer culture is huge. Here the beer culture doesn't exist at all. No. So those guys are trying to uh, be in a can on St. Martin. Good luck, guys. And us, we are just trying to make good beer. And that's yes, the point. That is really the point. And I think the challenge is a lot of these people who travel into St. Martin are just, they just want to drink like the Corona on the beach. They don't, and I think that needs to change because I, I, I do like that I've seen Pelican at beach bars because I'm like, thank you. Finally, I can get a good beer at the beach. It's not just the usuals. Yeah, uh, but that's not easy huh? because also like big brands also are pushing really hard yeah. to be on those big bars on the beach. So yeah. for us, uh, it's not so easy. But I mean, like I think by the time um, with the request of the customer, like slowly by slowly, it's going to move on. Also, we are working on recipe are way much easier to drink on a day, on a daily basis. I mean, like. Uh, when you drink a uh, uh, millet bay at five, uh, and it's, it's not super hoppy beer, but it's already hoppy, uh, for some people it's too much. Yeah. I can feel it. By night, there's no issue. No. Happy <laughs> hour, after six, five, uh, no problem. But uh, at noon, uh, to drink a millet, it's, it's pretty hot. So this is why now we are working on session L, very low ABV, yep. 3.5, 3.8 max. And uh, so this is the direction we're going to take to reach those bars, actually. And uh, I do have this right in front of me. Is this also kind of one? Oh, no, this is a uh, guava, guava sour uh, beer. Uh, that's, uh, so here at the tap room, we are every two weeks, uh, one or two beer are changing from the tap. So this is, it was an idea from Nicole to say, OK, let's do that. I have some. Some guava, uh, let's do a sour, but he, he loves sour beer, I don't, so, <laughs> so I, I, have, I have some porter for me and, and some heavy duty stuff, uh, but, uh, but yeah, that's good, like the tropical uh, session L, as I told you just yeah. before, uh, is in the same kind of spirit, like super refreshing, super good, easy to drink, um, that's great beer. I yeah, mean. this is a great beach beer, yeah, I would yeah. say, like this one definitely fits that void that I think... So this is kind of direction, but I think sour for, for on, on the beach, I don't know if it will fit. I don't know if it's for me. It's pretty refreshing. <laughs> yeah, it's true. refreshing. You're right, you're right. It's, but I don't it's know. It's noon right now, and I'm very happy with it. So maybe that's what it is. This is a really nice sour. It's not like overly sour, which I find a lot of... No, no, that's, that's, that's easy, smooth. I mean, that's super smooth beer to drink. Yeah. So what's, what's coming up next then? Uh, so next, about, uh, we are, um, so there is, there is a, a funny thing on Monday. Okay. Uh, there is a guy from uh, uh, Ireland, Ireland um, who visited us two weeks ago. He's also a brewer for the Den Center of Ireland Brewery. Wow. And uh, so uh, but we have a nice meeting with him. And Monday is coming to brew uh, heavy ale with us, uh, with rum and everything, but we're gonna Ooh. turn mad and, and, and make some crazy <laughs> beer over here with this Irish guy. And I think uh, I'm super happy to have this kind of collaboration with other brewer and 
and um, and it, it's a kind of sign like we are stepping some things new, yeah. and um, and uh, I really enjoy that. I'm really proud like we can we have this relation with some people that that good in this industry. Like it's super awesome for us. That's fantastic. Well, yeah, that's great. Well, I'm looking forward to coming back and seeing what's on tap next. I'm already looking at your list. I'm making sure I've had them all. Um, yeah. But like the pink paradis pepper hell is the, is, uh, I call it the 5P because it's yeah. the pelican pink paradis pepper hell. Uh, that's, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a word. <laughs> that's a, a word. <laughs> yeah, but that's it just for the fan, but pink paradis is the uh, highest mountain here yeah. on the island. So one more time, we name the beer related to some things like tourists and spots. So that, that's fun. Also, we have our beer on draft at Lottery Farm, so, which is on the way to Pic oh, Paradis. Right. So it makes even more sense to, to go that way. And uh, this is a really for us kind of signature beer because um, it's a really a very, very successful beer. People love this pepper beer because like, you have everything from the pepper. Flavors, s smell, and taste, and a little bit of kick. Yeah. And it's not too much. And then like, you're ready for one pint and two or three. ABV is low. This is a beer we are selling a lot here. Good. So, so we are even thinking to make some probably low limited edition bottles from that. Um, just to go. Because like here we are, we are bottling only two beer in production. And the rest is on tap. And except on demand, the people are coming for a growler or for six, seven bottles. I use the whole machine yeah. we have, and I do it. Voila. That's it. Well, I, <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you telling me about this. I mean, it, it's, it's really cool. And if you are in St. Martin uh, and you're looking for actual good beer, uh, definitely come to Pelican Brewery here, and you yeah. will find it. You will find us. Yeah. But if and also if you talk to the local people and uh, first question is like, do you like beer? So if they like beer, maybe they know us. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, follow Pelican Brewery on Instagram for all their upcoming stuff. That's how I discovered they had the guava, which I was very excited to come in and try. And uh, that's it for me at the Wish You Were Beer Show. Join us every Thursday night. We do live shows and uh, we'll be drinking. I'm actually going to bring some of these back, so we'll probably... I'll probably uh -huh. have, I'll, I'll have uh, Daniel and Tiffany, my co-host, drink a few for you. Okay. And we'll give you a, a shout out there. Okay. But I appreciate you. Cool, Phil. See you all Bye, on guys. Thursday.